The Worst Cases of Plastic Surgery Obsession. Jenny Lee. Jenny Lee first grabbed national attention when she made an appearance on Oprah in 2004. The television show host noted that she had a flawless look, but Jenny lamented that she still wasn't happy with her appearance, as she had battled self-esteem issues ever since she was young. She has had over 59 plastic surgeries, with 26 of the surgeries done before she was 28 years old. Her final procedure was in 2008, which was a nose job. Soon after, Jenny stopped plastic surgery altogether after being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Hang Miyoku. Hang Miyoku is one of the saddest cases of plastic surgery obsession. The young Korean girl was a model and after moving to Japan became obsessed with staying young and having soft skin. At the age of 28, she had her first procedure. She had silicone injections to enlarge her face and soon her own family didn't recognize her. Plastic surgeons soon started refusing her surgeries, believing she had a psychological issue. In 2013, she purchased her own silicone on the black market and injected herself with cooking oil. Hang was taken to the hospital. She had disfigured herself so severely that it took 10 surgeries to remove the silicone and oil. Human Barbies. While most people understand that Barbie is a plastic doll with unrealistic standards of beauty, there are a few people who will go to any length to look exactly like the blonde bombshell. Women such as 46-year-old Lacey Wilde, 55-year-old Sarah Berg, and most recently, 29-year-old Valeria Yukonova have all gone through numerous plastic surgeries, even having parts of their ribcage removed and breast enlargements in order to fit Barbie's inhuman proportions. Human Ken. These human Barbies can't go without their human Ken. 34-year-old Justin Jedlika has had over 190 plastic surgeries to help him look like the plastic Ken doll. He most recently went through a dangerous procedure to remove his Julia Roberts forehead veins and risked going blind should the procedure not go smoothly. Justin says that he still has a long way to go before he's perfect. Janet Hart. In 2011, Janet Hart was rushed to the hospital after injecting melted beef fat into her lips and chin. She soon after died from a bacterial infection that affected her colon. This wasn't Janet's first time injecting beef fat into herself, and was noted to have a grotesque look after the 63-year-old went through numerous facial surgeries throughout her lifetime, to the point where no more surgeons would touch her face. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn is a well-known New York socialite with humble beginnings. She grew up in Switzerland, where she became a skilled hunter and pilot. While at a shooting range, she met her now ex-husband, Alec Wildenstein. It was he who beckoned her to start getting cosmetic surgery to look more cat-like, since he apparently enjoys large felines. It took multiple surgeries to her face before she was satisfied with the results. During the divorce proceeding, it was revealed that Jocelyn spent about four million on her plastic surgeries. But friends say she couldn't be happier with her appearance, despite it looking so unnatural. Amanda Lepore. Amanda Lepore is known for having the most expensive body on earth. The 46-year-old transsexual model has had Botox, lip injections, a nose job, forehead lowered, breast augmentation, buttocks implants, and that's just skimming the surface. Amanda was originally born a male and had a sex change operation at the age of 19. She recently broke her lower ribs to look thinner. Amanda has some celebrity fans, including Lady Gaga and Elton John. Monique Allen. Monique Allen has had 100 unregulated plastic surgeries and 200 procedures total that left her disfigured and disabled, including 12 liters of plastic injected. The 58-year-old had gender reassignment to become a woman at the age of 22, but she still wasn't happy with her appearance after spending over $100,000 to have some of the damage undone, like having her silicone removed. Monique has become an advocate to try to help people avoid having as many procedures as she did by sharing her own personal story.